pitching, pre preparing is, a big part of this is making sure that each pitcher knows what batter is not going to beat you. Um, define how a pitcher will stay in a game. This becomes powerful. All of these things are important to be able to cover before a game, so when you get to a game, you just play it. Here's a, here's a dynamic. Does a pitcher know how long she's going to stay in a game? Have you defined it as a coach? I have. So I'll simply sit all the pitchers down. Here's how it is. All of you are competing for a position. Ultimately, whoever ends up earning it at practice is going to get the ball. And I'll let you know the day before who's going to get the ball. Now, how long you're going to stay in the game is going to depend on you. You're going to get the ball. You're going to get out there and you're going to execute. At any time, somebody can get a big hit. I'm good with that. What happens afterward is what's going to allow you to stay in the game any longer. And that is your ability to stop the bleeding and your presence. If you look defeated, if you get frustrated, oh, you're out. If you keep on battling, then I'll keep you in the game longer. You don't stop the bleeding, you're out. But everyone gets really clear on how they're going to stay in the game. That, that ability, now you say, Coach, I don't want to do that because that might tie my hands. Clarity is the biggest part, and you always reserve the right to be able to, to switch it up. But ultimately, they understand that the rope may be, or the, the chain, I mean, your ability to pull it may be a little bit longer for certain people. The rope may be longer. But ultimately, they'll have an idea of how they should react when things start going wrong. Here's a big one, too. How many times do you get frustrated saying, who's on bats? Who's on charts? And it's usually one of those things that you end up focusing on after an inning that you just didn't score the RBI and the bat's still out there and now you're frustrated and you say, who's on bats? Great, coach is upset at all of us. One of those things, again, little things. Being able to take care of all these little uh, duties becomes an important part of just playing the game very simply. Um, Here's, here are some expectations, and these are kind of big things as well. Every, po every, every park that we go to, every place that we go to, I ask the girls to focus on a focal point. A focal point is a, is a location at a field that every girl can dial into to be able to remind themselves that they have put the hay in the barn and they're prepared to go to battle. Okay? So we go to fields, and literally, we can say, you know, wherever, wherever we are, um, if it's cold, if it's hot, if it's wherever we are, you've got about two minutes to be able to turn this into the best field you've ever played in. You've got to find that focal point that is going to get you dialed in. And it's one of those things, it's the first thing you can do everywhere you go. It's a simple place, and I ask the girls what your focal point is so they can dial into that moment to remind themselves when things, the game's speeding up or things aren't going well, what they're going to be able to look at to remind themselves. Um, the routine in the dugout. All I'm sharing with all of you are all these things, if you want to be able to just play softball in a game, you've got to be able to manage all the things that potentially could get brought up that could distract you from playing softball. 